Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Jacob, aka Jagsfan706. I'm bringing you this Man of Madon playthrough. It's actually my second playthrough of this game. Um, I was streaming it for some some friends on on Twitch, and you know, Twitch saved the broadcast. And I downloaded it. I figured out why not edit it up, cut it up a little bit, put it on YouTube, and just see how it goes. That way, more people can see it, and more people can you know maybe laugh at me for my stupid decisions and and me getting scared. So, leave a like if you enjoy it. Um, leave a comment if you have any critiques. Um, I'll be looking to post the next part of this um, in the coming days. So as I get good, better at editing, I'll um, I'll be trying to keep this up and maybe start more games in the future. So enjoy. All right, this time I'm definitely stabbing that child, or whatever happens. I am streaming. So here they're bringing on the bodies. See, this scene makes a little more sense after having played the game once before. I don't know if everyone watching this has already seen this game, but this is the second playthrough, so you might hear, uh, you might hear me say things that you haven't already seen. So I don't know if you'd want to watch this, but I will be discussing things that have already happened in the future. So if you've already watched, then you're fine. Man, I don't remember if that scene was like that in the beginning the first time. Maybe it was, I just don't remember. This is where I remember it starting. I'm talking to the, right, the viewers that may not be y'all. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. <sighs> Can I fight? Hey, give me a So, how important was all this backstory with his child? Right. Gonna find out my future. Did it even matter for the, the main story? Let's have it. What's in store for me? Should I say anything different to this guy? So, on this playthrough, should I ask him to say something about my son again, like I did the first time, or should I ask him if I'll be rich? He's gonna so, he's gonna uh, ask the thing about the son regardless. When am I gonna I hit bet. the jackpot? You know, uh, all that glitz and glamour. This is the first different decision that shouldn't affect the game, but take note. Dragon, bamboo. I took the dragon the last time. I'm gonna take the bamboo this time. I see money. Oh, it's the same thing, fish. Looks like a fish? Oh. You have the fish. Your fortune may come from any direction. <laughs> yeah, this is the same thing he said, I think, the first time, and he's just saying how, like, basically the butterfly effect is a thing. Doom? Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Yeah, this is basically the same thing happened. It's gonna teach hey, me how to fight, and I'm not go gonna ahead. let it hit oh, me yeah? this time, but it's gonna have to stuff? hit me. You know, Fight? Sure. Let me another quarter. I'm gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. So like how how important was any of this with these two guys? Boom. A oh, boom. Oh, very good. But can you hit this one? Or this? Mm. This is like, there was a video of Conor McGregor basically doing this. Alright, we better go Conor McGregor right here. 
I'm not gonna let this thing hit me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, take that. <laughs> yeah. Looks like I'm the karate master. I beat now. it this time. Wouldn't you know? It? What did she say? Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man. Just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. These are the bodies that they're putting in. A little bit of that Manchurian gold. That one specifically seems to be getting attention. Is that the one we found the two headed body? This is how it happens. All that stuff is locked up until the electrical storm happens. Strikes that. Causing it to maybe heat up and seep out. That's what causes this entire thing. I really wonder if there's a way to unlock any of those. Part of the game should matter, but I might, I might still make sure I'm like looking and getting everything. Oh, this is yeah, this is the place. I remember this though when we were playing the game. I knew this was his room because this, this picture. Come back soon. Yeah, I'm gonna stab the fuck out of you or shoot you. I don't remember what it was that I had to do. I just remember that I have to do it. And that's crazy, because I wonder if I never open that later on, when I come back as the real characters, I probably would open this up. I guess I would have to find this for this key. What does the key do again? I forget. Oh, man. Hmm. What does that key do? I wonder if, if I even use this key. 
And if not, if I don't use it in this, I wonder if that affects the story for the characters later. Like if they would have used the key. Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm sure we find the guy's body. So, man, that's crazy. That's a decision that could have affected the regular game. I don't really remember this intro too much to know if we use this key or not. Oh, I wonder if the key opens up the casket. Oh, is that how I just got out? Was I just talking too much that that's actually how I got out of the thing? Charlie, how's your time off? Just get me out of here already. Oh, well, I got the key. What the hell's going on up there? Heard aircraft and gunfire. So that's where we shot down the aircraft that was supposed to rescue us. Corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. All right, I'm gonna check your thing again. You've been keeping things nice in here. Yeah, I'm just gonna look at this. I'm not really gonna read this as much as I did the last time. Just talking about how he was getting in trouble. He got sent to the brig for 10 days. But I definitely have to make sure I look for his stuff because I didn't. Oh, this. Oh, no, I, did, I saw this. See, some of these things, they don't even really matter. Did that guy cough up blood? I wonder if. Uh, oh, this was actually the stuff about like all the different things he got in trouble for and what he did. Alright. The safe. Oh yeah, the safe. Come on, get out the door. I know, it's being buggy. Wasn't the safe open... I feel like that safe was open when I s went as the other characters, so... Alright, get out of here, whatever your face is. Mess up the one I messed up either. I must have hit it like right in between the heartbeat things on accident that one time. But the heartbeat picks up. for a hundred percent accuracy in this, this playthrough. I already beat the karate thing. And I've already passed this, so I'm on track. What's going on, Charlie? They told us to come to the brig, see? They said we were gonna come out in ten days. Oh fuck! What was that? I forgot about that. I feel like this was the door when I was playing as somebody in the regular game that I hey, I skipped. Charlie, help. Uh, maybe, no, maybe I just messed up and didn't go the other way like I should have. Yeah, see how much longer that gave me? Oh, it still Fuck gets hell. me. Yeah, you said it. Fubar and that song. Alright, get out the way, sir. 
Alright, I'm going to see if I can go back real quick because I just want to... Nope. Alright, I get you. Oh, I remember this. See, some of the things I remember doing once I've already tried doing them again. God damn. Another stiff? Oh, damn it. Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. I really expected something to happen right there. It's just giving me this long hallway to try walking fast, I bet. Yeah, this was locked. Did I ever find this door the first time? I don't know. It's crazy, so, uh, it's... Is it just me? Or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Do I look like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings? Maybe. Come on. Alright, child, where are you? Don't mess with me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm ready for you. Chuck? You see that kid over there? You got my gun? Uh... Chuck? No? You feeling alright? Hand me my gun. Oh yeah, this this kid's dead this time. I don't care what happens. I need to see if there's anything else to like find. Oh yeah, I already did that before. There's nothing. All right, all right, kid. Playtime is here. over. What have you done? Killed all these men, Tom. Alright. Oh, I wonder if I kill this kid if I go further with him. Oh, wait, no. I'm the one with a gun right now. You're dead, kid. Oh, yeah, I hear you. You're going to time out. You know what? I'm probably going to shoot at him. Nothing's going to happen. He's just still going to stab me. Oh, I don't miss. Oh, fuck you. You know, for a ten-year-old, you sure don't know how to use your words. Hey. Come here. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Not Dave. Oh God, no, Charlie! Charlie's dead. See the thing. Oh, you know what? Charlie is the kid. He's the one with the knife. I bet. Wait, what? This is different. Oh, well, that's how they get you. Oh my god. Wait, now I'm having a heart attack. That was different. Oh, you know why it was different? Because I didn't ask the fortune teller about my son. If I would have asked him about my son, it would have made me shoot him. And because I thought it was my son the first playthrough, I didn't want to shoot him. That's why he stabbed me. This time, it was just some spooky little kid. Well, I guess I saw his picture. No! No! 
to shoot the child. But maybe it's... So the curator wasn't really as involved in this game well, what is as until dawn. I wonder if I see him any more though. No, Brandon told me. Brandon told me. So I wonder if this curator is going to be the same guy in the next game, Little Hope. Like he's the one that curates the stories of the, the Dark Pictures series. Or is he Jason Graves? Open the door. Oh man. So the obvious like decisions to make Hello physically or one thing, but like welcome. The, the way I say certain things with certain My characters. Repulsive. Like Alex, does it matter if I say, Oh yeah, I've dove before? I drink beer, I don't drink beer. Look at all those books, all those games that Supermassive Games can make, like this and Until Dawn. I am the curator. I would play the only their of games story. for the rest of my days. Stories of love and they hate, kept pumping these out. Greed and beauty, life and death. Stories such as this one. These games are amazing. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale Let's is only part make written, some revisions. and the choices you make will complete it. And determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, Inevitable. It's not inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes eventually to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? Nope. As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. <laughs> yeah, I prefer life. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have What's the interesting is this game account doesn't explicitly define the, the colors made. of the frames. 
Like until dawn, it told you what the different colored totems meant. This game, it just says, hey, they're future, future outcomes. See, I wonder if like any of the conversation kind of decisions make any difference, really. At least like this, like, he's gonna be like, oh, you didn't take diving lessons? No, I didn't take diving lessons. So should I make the same conversational decisions? I guess if we, if we play it we differently, we run out, we can always we'll at least see up. what decisions so, make uh, the difference or not. I've never been down there before. Because I'll probably play yeah. this again. The water, diving, or maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Yeah. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna be a little more. Came out here without taking any lessons. Uh, see, I was really honest of, with yeah. Brad the first time. Like I was like, no, I didn't dive. It's embarrassing. See, resentful? Do I need to be resentful about this? I'm gonna do it. What the hell? I wanted to. I just didn't I didn't have time, you know? I had to work all summer. Oh, uh, fair enough, fair enough. That was a better outcome, I feel, than the first time. Careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So yeah, but Conrad just runs away stuff, and man. It's not cool. So it's don't make late. me regret letting you tag along. See, I said I was invited this time. Not good with people. Dude, you know I'm not, like, the best around new people. Whatever. Just shut up. Brad, shut up. That looked like Napoleon Dynamite. You're not on this trip because you're my bro. I mean, you are my brother, but... I mean, like, we're buddies, you know? Um, oh. Kinda. We're just out here to fucking hang... This is cool better on. than last time. Kick it. What the fuck are you talking about? Let's just kick it and be legends, man. Yeah, let's kick it. All right, this was go. a better outcome. Calvary's this is why here. you Ooh. change it up. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... When you medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shock. Yeah. And man, yeah. the long distance thing, Julia, it's been rough. I'm going to be empathetic, though, because we got a good thing. I've already yeah, done I that. Yeah, I got you. Must be tough. But oh, I don't want to, like, just do the opposite huh? for the sake of it. <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Well, so far, I feel that this was a better decision. Hey! So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh... Alright, I already got somebody telling me about. I'm gonna kill somebody in 20 minutes. About finishing med school? I don't know if you no, know what you're talking about. It's just... Or if kind you're of just a being a downer. Choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. You know how I know that's not gonna affect anything? Because there's no bearing. Go with your gut or give it some thought. The marriage. I'm gonna say give it some thought. I'm gonna Are you change sure it up. You're ready? Give it some thought. Consider all the permutations. Uh, I don't think that was a good idea. <laughs> but we're doing it. Hey! I mean, do you have to... See, he was... Yeah, you're a fuck. Oh, sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, Connie? What's up, man? Connor. Yeah, that sounds like your correct <laughs> Watch name. Watch Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, comrade. This is Brad, by the way. My little bro. Hey, I'm not drinking Bradley. this time. Oh, but maybe if I don't drink, then he doesn't stay down there like yeah, we want him to. Uh, likewise. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. What do you think? Should we drink? I'm gonna drink. Because I feel if I don't drink, he's not gonna stay down in yeah. the... Yeah, cool. He's That's not gonna nice. stay down in the... Uh, I, I love beer. ...bedroom like I want him to this time. <laughs> I 
I've already made the decision, by the way, before you even right on, Radical. have the chance to I like tell the me. Cut of your ship. It's jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Have you? I'm gonna say... I'm gonna, you know what? Last time I said never. I'm gonna use my head. I'm gonna be yeah. like, all the time. Yeah, dude, I do totally. it. Well, all Let's the see time. if they put me down nice. there, though. I was worried they're gonna stick me with a noob. Oh, yeah, nope. not, not, not me. Noob. I can practically breathe underwater at this point. So you uh, dive a lot? A couple, three times, you know, here and there, family trip. All right, Fliss. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? All right, we're going to call you out this time. Ahead of time. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... Oh, yeah? So is, is that everybody what you on have to board say? and ready to go? Uh, you're selling, I'm buying. Get out of here, Conrad, you're an idiot. Oh. Yeah, thank you. Lesson one, bring the stick. I didn't get to open up that one door before, but maybe if I open up that door, a shark comes out. See, you never know with these games what happens. That's it, get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, wanna go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Yeah, stay there, we're gonna use yeah. you later. Oh boy. Turn the volume down on Aaron, please. What Thank about you. over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know. So should I be like a, a nice little dive? different in these conversations too? What do you think? Brad did his homework. Brad was so sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be optimistic about Brad still. That's my bro. We had a great time so far. Brad did his homework. If he says a wreck's here, it's here. Okay, it's definitely look, here. you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. All right. You know, I feel like until dawn. What you got? Not until dawn. Man of Madon. What do we got? Feast your eyes on this. I Brad's really calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, kids I really wish there was a we better purpose him. for these. Fliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. There's pictures we are that ready we look to at. dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Ugh. I'm gonna. I said, who cares? Last time, I'm gonna be disappointed. We'd be like, oh, we can't dive, but she's going to be like, Wait, I guess we can. Are you saying we shouldn't dive? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's going to know? Fine. As long as you're quick. Don't touch anything. See? I feel like we're better for that. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Dick to her. Can you imagine? Untouched? She's definitely not untouched. <laughs> We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Right out. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. I'm not talking to you this time. I want my stick. All right. Should I go talk to the bro now? Or no. I, first things first. Let me check out this ID. Hey, hey. hey no, 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 no. Hey, hey. Help might be a way in. All right, Fliss, Miss. This is a fake boater's license. SpongeBob-looking ass. This doesn't look kosher. Uh, no, those. That's her. Uh, her eye color and her hair color. Not her last name is Dubois. <laughs> Dubois. 
<laughs> Miss Fliss in your fake thing. First premonition. Huh. What am I looking at here? So this is what I, I want this to happen this time. I'm not going to call him up th this next time. Because I want to see what happens. There's nothing over here. Brad, what you up What's to? Up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Don't worry. You're fine, bro. We got we got such a good thing going that I'm gonna be nice. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Take more than that just to screw up the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. It's funny. Ooh, should you be touching that? Yes. Touch. Hey guys. You know how to use that? Uh, Takes a lot. No. Not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. Well, let me see if you can do your thing. Wait, what? Or maybe I got to go talk to the people out front first. Nope, there we go. Wait, how would you, how'd you get that? Okay. Hi. Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. I'm gonna be polite. Should I be polite? Yeah, why be a dick and be like, oh, we pay a lot? Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it, but there are rules, and laws, and customs. Mm. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? This is the moment I've been waiting for. How experienced are you? <laughs> Excuse me? Excuse I mean, I know what the credentials say, but I don't know the truth. De bois? Were you snooping around? You don't trust me? Maybe. I just the want to see what you could say. The fake certificate is only temporary. My old one expired and renewal out here is like extortion, okay? I agree. This dive is supposed to bankroll the fees. Take it easy. But that's not exactly following the rules now, is it? Mm -hmm. So I guess that applies to all of us. For all you know, this could be a war grave. So I don't really know if this that was would better be or not. And immoral. But I wanted to do it. Should I be pompous? Nah. I still... Should I say nothing? <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. We won't. Well, actually, we are. That's what the whole game is. Huh, I couldn't even talk to Conrad over there by himself. All right. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Uh -huh. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay. O2 check done. Whoa, 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 Eager Beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. I'm gonna say looking good right in front of your looking good, Jay. Your brother. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey. Yeah. That's my sis you're talking exactly. about. Exactly. Oh, hey, guys. What? Jesus, why are you so loud? I almost completely forgot. When I was looking at the dive cam, I saw this huge hole in the tail. Kablooey. That's your way into they the They got train. shot oh, out. Nice work, man. Thanks, we learned Conrad. that in the first playthrough. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. She's gonna kick your ass. Alright. 
looking for a first mate. Take the camera. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's You're get a before photo. Candid camera. Soon, soon it will be you and me. So when I was really hoping, like these, I'm not talking to you. Right, I'm taking kids. this. Good to go. I was really hoping when we looked at those camera, the, uh, the pictures Please. before, that we would see stick. something. But oh, I heard that about you. Yes, uh -huh. the bang stick. You ever have to that use was one? important. On a shark? Nope. The different outcomes in the game oh. I haven't seen. You good? More or less. <laughs> we can see no shark. She been flissing so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little. Oh, thing I would be. I won't tell if you. I wonder won't. if. <laughs> not like we can scan the wreck. The every room we couldn't go in. If there's yeah. some. No, there can't be. Never mind. That's cheap. Nix that idea. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Yep. Damn. That's what she said. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable Correct. find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. This will be, uh, saved on it. Twitch for you to watch later. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You? Are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a Get frosty out of here, amber Conrad. liquid. You're such an idiot. Should I should I actually like do it with this thing? Should I go with this guy and be like relaxed? Sure, why not? I'm gonna do it. I want everyone to be happy with each sure. other. Sure. Why not? Ooh, she drank the stuff. She can handle it though. She's not gonna get drunk. Pretty nice ride you got here. They're Where just gonna be the cooler cash? now. So last time I said don't ask a lady about her money. I'm gonna be chill this time. Cause if I try to keep Conrad on this boat, I it's want a us long to be story. It's complicated chill. and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan. You know, you're smarter than you look. If mm -hmm. you're interested, What's maybe your family here? can make an investment in your business. <laughs> Appreciative, resentful. I mean, we're just in the power of positivity in this playthrough. That's very kind of you to offer. I suppose we could have that conversation. Oh my gosh. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping I, the Okay, land my machine. main goal of this game aye, aye. is to avoid Conrad throwing money at these stupid pirates. Weather looks clear. Hmm. <laughs> Watch the, for the I'll hurricane. Have to keep an eye on those clouds. Uh oh, there's the pirates. It's getting mighty crowded out here. Hey, uh, Tommy, I think it's been 20 minutes. I didn't kill nobody yet. Hello again, little blip. What's you doing all the way out here? Yeah, what are you doing out here? Man, I wish the decision to just get the divers back up and get out of here was. Oh. Alright, this is Fliss's room. This was another premonition. See, this is a black framed one. This is maybe something I want to avoid do doing and seeing around? if Conrad goes on the ship with us. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Yeah, you are. Hey, it's your vacation. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there.
Hmm. What do you know? I hope they know what they're doing down there. Attitude matters. I bet if I would have asked, what do you know? She would have asked, but he was pretty serious about acing his diving certification. Actually, he doesn't even know about the proposal. Are you close with your brother? Did I have this conversation before? Are you close with your brother? <laughs> Known him my whole life. That was a stupid question. Why did I ask that? Hey, Fliss. Look, All right, Conrad. I swear, if you don't keep your money in your pocket this time. What's that about? Fishing boat. From the looks of it, that's not the Coast Guard. I'm gonna say fishing boat. Fishing boat. Uh, that's different. From the looks of it. That's different than what I said last time. I I'm pretty sure I said be quiet, let me handle it, and then he ended up throwing money everywhere. I'm gonna be worried. Maybe he won't be so stupid. This feels. Maybe if I'm confident, off. he's confident. But Just if I'm worried, he will be more worried. Okay. Yes. Please don't say anything stupid. No, no. Say we've got divers in the water. Guys, you gotta keep back. We've got divers in the water. Damage here, you see this? Look at our boat. It's we your fault. This man, it's not a problem. Oh no. What do you think? Like uh, ten bucks cover? I thought. So does he just do this regardless? Oh, I, it well, must be like a plot driver. Well, shoot. You you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. I feel like he has to be a jerk like that, or else they would just be on their merry way. Technically, I only killed two. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. The turret. We can get in through there. Alright. Uh huh. I would have brought a shark. That's uh, what we would have used the bang stick for. Wait, didn't she just say ladies first? So someone told me the last time I played this that I missed something in this part. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, so we did look it. Very heavily. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring. Go, go, go. There's something right there, you fool. Oh. Did we see this the first time? Yeah, we did. And I avoided that. However, that occurs. There's that. I already got this before. Because it's where the stupid octopus came. Julia, leave it. You're not to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Maybe it's kind of dangerous. Live a little. Don't be such a gonad. I'll be yeah, don't fine. be a gonad. Gonad? Seriously? Am I dead? What's happening? Don't say that, that's rude. Live a little, Edgelord.
I was holding my breath that entire time. I wanted it to be as realistic you do and immersive as possible. One chance, you get that. I know what I'm doing, okay? I was fine. I don't want to be defiant. Chill out. I'm fine, see? That still sounds no defiant. Search area clear, search area clear. Yeah, this is the search. Like it was a rescue plane. Yeah, we know this. From a US base. And it got destroyed out the sky. They were on their way to help out a ship. So. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack. Yeah, I did. Boats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? One of the Let's rescue boats was missing. Potentially get into something in here. Bearing updated. We gotta get out of here now. Did I ever have the opportunity to try to get through a door like the last time? <laughs> It's a gray reef shark. Not interested in us. I picked up the stick, but it's like there was no opportunity to try to open something this time. Hold on. Uh. Oh, okay. I told him to think with his head. I, uh. What are you doing? Oh. Why are you fidgeting? Uh. Maybe that's why I couldn't I open know. something. I. I wanted to bring something up with you, but it's it's not the best time. Had something... I'm gonna be playful. Oh, you had something to raise with me, did you? Oh, God. Wait. Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's get back up to the top. So I wonder how this affects the game that he doesn't propose. Should I even push the... F I'm going to! Hey, seriously. What's going on? Nothing. Yeah, but you're freaking me out. Just forget it. I shouldn't have said anything. Come on. We've really got to get up top. How's their relationship? Looks fine to me. Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where's that other boat come from? I wonder if he'll propose later in the game, though. Wait, Julia, we oh, gotta decompress here. Oh, no, no, I thought you were about to do that. Whoa! Damn! Just a what barbecue, the, the craziest barbecue Wait, you've ever seen. We have to decompress. Definitely decompress. You're right. Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. What happened that we weren't able... Because I'm pretty sure the first playthrough... Just a few more seconds. Okay, I'm pretty no. sure the go, first go. playthrough, we didn't open a door it's or something cool, down in the bu right in the now. plane, and I didn't even have the opportunity for that this time, right? Oh, nothing. Your brother just took it upon himself to blow up my grill. Conrad, what is wrong with you? Yes, it did. Why are you paying the ocean? What was up with that other boat? I definitely want to ask about the other boat. If what I can't you pay the ocean, that's the fishing guys me. came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is what you guys find. Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh, bad. There's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God. Well, that's just fucking perfect.
You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. Do you say that every time, sir?